484 and 584. I'm Professor Fahmi Jalani. Uh, today we'll be covering a uh, continuation of uh, enterprise system architecture uh, in depth more on uh, information structure and reporting. So assuming that you already have understanding of enterprise system uh, which produce massive amount of data which include organization data, master data and transaction data. I will take a look at the the reporting available for S4 HANA SAP and the application and also the concept of insight to action in the SAP S4 HANA and hopefully uh, understand the analytical capability for the S4 HANA So an enterprise system uh, produce and consume massive amount of data while execution of business process. So this data is related to the execution of the business processes and much of this data are generated automatically and reporting is very essential in any business process it provides the snapshot of the business process and associated uh, transaction the ability to observe and understand the understand the process in a company to identify any issues and prevent any initiative and also many different types of report available to users. So on a more traditional uh, site, uh, basically SAP provide online reporting or OLTP. This is designed to capture and store transaction, transaction data. For detail data analysis, uh, SAP do provide OLAP, uh, which is an online analytical processing uh, in a form of information structure. Uh, report is basically in aggregated and summarized data so SAP S4 HANA provide a new approach in the enterprise system environment and start with this type of structured database. Tradi traditional uh, database system uh, is created using relational data structures or table which are normalized and connected. And data are stored and accessed by this uh, run by single core CPU with expensive memory upgrades uh, as for HANA, data are stored in non-normalized and they are stored in memory and dual core processors uh, provide faster decisions and low cost. So traditionally data are stored in two-dimensional call tables. Uh, 
how they have organizing attributes, columns, and records, rows. So they are stored sequentially in the memory. So in a column are stored in the same location. So most uh, values are searched in the column. With only a few distinct values. So, when running queries on large data set, local compression of similar types of data in a single column can be done. So traditional enterprise system provides a large number of pre-built report. Once they are determined, they need to locate and start in start in multiple location and how to execute it. And they are built with different technology and use different method to execute. So once executed, they need to understand the data and the application. So due to the different technology, so the data are displayed in a range of format. And finally, the what action does the user need to do? In the S4 HANA environment, uh, it utilizes a new technique OLTP and OALP are combined in one column database and allow greater integration and greater process. So it could be accessed on the Fury uh, Launchpad for SAP. In many in many report uh, you can they are highlighted and you can access to drill down the associate report object to gain greater insight. So in some cases icon are recommended to display so making it easier for the user to user to run it So S4 HANA provide a powerful enterprise function uh, which so S4 HANA provide a enterprise search function which is very powerful. Online is uh, Enable user to display user to display 
uh, item that is associated to the business process in for, for example in fulfillment in business process could display quotation sales order deliveries and invoices another type of list that available is interactive report uh, yet to be completed in the work to the business process so some business process uh, associated, uh, associated with a sequence of process uh, in the document flow Also, S4 HANA include uh, embedded analytics. Um, these are basically tools that enables users to develop their own uh, situation, for example. So, as mentioned earlier, S4 HANA has provided a very powerful tool for all user function such as products, uh, customer and etc. And once and once the search has been executed, the users could see the result on the display of the required item of one click. So on SAP S4 HANA, we have a tile, uh, for example, the online list, we have the answer to the query. So that's pretty much it for the class today. Uh, If you have any question, uh, please email me and uh, stay safe by your mask. Thanks. Bye-bye.